Hey guys, this is Addie Buckley Burnell, the Associate Director of Career Development in the University Career Center at Auburn University, here to talk a little bit about how to use CareerShift and why this is going to be an important resource for you. Now, I'm going to show you how to get into CareerShift to start with. Uh, because we pay for this subscription, you're going to need to go through Handshake. Now, when you go to Handshake, uh, you're going to go to Resources. Resources is found under the Career Center tab. And when you go into Resources, you're going to see this option for CareerShift. Simply click on the hyperlink here. Now you are going to be able to set up your career shift account with any username and password you like. However, you will need to use your email address that's assigned to Auburn in order to get your first access. And then you can make changes if you want to at any point. Let's say after you graduate, you can change that to Gmail or whatnot. But to start it, use your Auburn. Now, career shift is a hugely useful resource in job search and contact creation. So very beneficial for looking for a job or an internship, but also very helpful for networking or finding out who to address a cover letter to. So lots of fun stuff you can do here. The best part about this is that you can organize your entire search in one setting. Um, and so this is a uh, website that is, we pay for the subscription for you to have. You can't just access this from anywhere. Um, we pay for the subscription and because of that, it is incredibly robust. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple of the ways to use this today that will help you navigate this effectively. So to do a job search on this, you need to know that this is going to be a, a job search engine that will go across the internet and grab any postings that meet the requirements you're looking for, as long as that posting is not hidden behind a password protected program. All right, so you can't go on here and find things that would normally be in Handshake because that's password protected. However, you can go in here and find things that are posted on things like Indeed, company websites, um, Auburn's website, lots of good pieces. To do that, you will simply go to this jobs feature, search. Now I will tell you too, there's a lot of tutorials within the program, so feel free to use any of the ones that you think will be useful for you. All right, when you go into the search feature, you're gonna be able to search for anything you want. And when you hit the advanced search feature, you're going to see some extra elements. So if you have a company name in mind that you want to work with, great. It's going to post everything that is on that company's website and anything outside of the company's website that you'll find. If you want to search it by things like type of position, internship, contract, temporary, whatnot, experience level needed, you can search it by location, all right? And then you also have the option of filtering by H-1B visa status. That is going to be a really, really helpful tool for my international students that are here on an F-1 visa. If you are looking to eventually work in the United States or even just do your OPT or CPT in the United States, it's helpful to understand the companies who have looked to sponsor work visas for students in the past. This will filter the job postings and companies by those who have tried to sponsor in the past to save you quite a few extra steps. So really helpful for you to know about. So you can plug in anything here that you're thinking about, whether that be keywords, company, whatever. So let's just say I'm looking for a counselor position. All right, I would like to stay, let's say Atlanta and within 50 miles. Okay, I'm just plugging some pieces here. Now I can do a search here or I can do something like published within. So if I'm looking at this regularly and I don't want to filter through all of the 500 postings that I've already seen lately, you can filter it by even what's been posted within the last day, week, whatever. All right. So plug whatever you want in there. When you search, it will tell you how many pages there are, how many positions. Now you can save these searches really easily. And if you look over here on the left side, you can save all sorts of different pieces and keep this nice and clean for you. Now, for every position that you're post seeing posted here, you're going to see a variety of elements. One, find contacts, share job, locate, and save for later. So you can do any of those elements. If you locate, it will go directly to a Google map of where this position is employed. All right, so it saves you the step of having to search it yourself. It also will let you share with anyone else or find contacts. Now, the find contacts piece is one of the most helpful pieces, and I'm going to show you a few ways of doing the contact searches. Now, when it comes to the find contacts, this is a great chance for you to see if there's anyone you know in the organization. You can see who it is you might write the cover letter to. So, for instance, this is a counselor position for school or county schools. 
you can see here, this is a specific principal at that school, and that might be a good person to address my cover letter to. Um, now, of course, in a school, it might be easy to find that information. In some of your more private organizations or in industry companies, you might have a hard time figuring out who that might be. So addressing your cover letters to heads of departments, heads of organizations, manager level, supervisor level, or human resources specialists or managers would be good places to begin that. You're going to see emails and phone numbers. You could actually reach out to these people and conduct informational interviews or learn more about their organization. And because you have their email or phone number, you can do that very quickly and easily. You also have the option of viewing more information about the person. So if you see here articles about this person online, you can also often see information about where they went to school, what their major was, that kind of thing. You can see information about the company. And it oftentimes will have important people, not for the school district, but oftentimes have more information. Oh, here we go. Key people. There you go. So very useful pieces here. Save search. Now going back to that job posting, if I look at all of this and I determine I want to apply for this, the job posting itself is going to be going directly to where the posting was originally posted. So if I click here, it'll show me the actual posting and how to apply, gives me all the details. All right, very quick, easy, easy to find, easy to use. Now, that is just doing a basic job search. I also have the opportunity of doing a company search. So let's say I'm not really quite sure what job title I'm looking for. But I would like to know companies in a particular area, we'll go in Birmingham, within 50 miles of Birmingham, that are involved with agriculture, advertising, and marketing. Let's just say advertising and marketing. So I don't really know a job title, but I'm curious as to what companies I might look for. Here we go. So we have 349 companies in that 50 mile radius of Birmingham that are in advertising and marketing. You can go through here, get contact or company details. You can also then look at company jobs. So if it all looks good to you and you're looking at these details, you can say, hmm, well, what jobs do they have open? Here we go. None read this. You also have that option of seeing those contacts. Now, anytime you're in the contacts piece, you can actually narrow the contacts using your Auburn Alumni Network. So go to the school attendant. You can then say, Oh, nobody at that one, but maybe one of the other organizations does have some Auburn alum. So let's say I'm looking at um, Auburn alum who are working in, again, that's the contacts piece here, advertising and marketing. If I want to have a position and title, I can do that. Or if I just want to say in that, you know, maybe that Birmingham area. Here we go. So we're seeing people who went to Auburn who work in the advertising and marketing arena in Birmingham, Alabama. And this, so this will give you organizations to think about, people that you might do those informational interviews or network with because these are Auburn alum. You could reach out to them individually. Um, use our tip sheet on how to do that for informational interviewing or job shadowing to give you some ideas about how to contact these people. But it gives you a good starting point to know organizations, people that you might reach out to, and also some of those job titles that you may look into within those organizations of interest. All right. Everything, again, is going to let you filter down, let you save. When I click on this contact details, you can load the full details. You can get an idea of how they got to where they are, education information, all right, and articles about them online. And again, you can reach out via email or sometimes even phone. Save them for later if you want. Anytime you save anything, you can then export it into an Excel spreadsheet, which can be very easy for you to track. And this allows for you to do a lot of great searching, combining research elements, and allows for you to find organizations that you may not have ever thought about before. So again, you can search for jobs, internships, people, companies based off of industry or type of employment setting. You can connect all of those elements together and you can actually start networking into the jobs that you're interested in. 
very robust, very useful, and I really encourage you guys to utilize this element in your job search because not only is it very expensive for us to have, and I like to keep it around, uh, but it also is going to be incredibly useful to you in your search and your efforts to expand your network now and even after you begin your careers. I hope that was helpful for you. There's lots of additional tutorials in the program, but at least get in there and start doing some searches uh, to get an, an idea of how to use this effectively for your search and make sure that we're making the most of this resource. Again, I'm Addie Buckley Burnell. If you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, have a great day.